Hey, what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and it's been a while I've made any Bentica videos. So in this particular video, I'm going to show this particular effect which Bentica showed us in his latest New Zealand video. And trust me, this effect is pretty cool and pretty easy to make but you guys need to use After Effects, no Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro because you need to turn these objects as 3D. You can do this effect in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut Pro but the effect will not be exactly the same and there will be a lot of problems. So for that reason, I have made this effect totally in After Effects. So first thing what you guys need is, you guys need two clips, first clip and the second clip. And you guys will request some PNG pictures of leaves, just like Ben Tiki. So Ben Tiki used green leaves, in my case, as my footage is like autumn. So I'm going to use some autumn PNG leaves. I've left the asset files of this video in the description so you guys can check it out from that also or you can just search leaves png and you guys will get an ample amount of options so with that being said let's get started so here we are in after effects and as you can see this is my first footage and then i want to import the leaf footages which are right here this is the bottom list which i found on the internet and I'm going to just resize them. Now what you need to do is you need to make this as 3D. So click on the box button which is there here. And then you are going to see options like the X, Y and Z rotation. And the orientation. And in the position also there is the position called Z along with X and Y. So set a position where you want to place the leaf. I've just copied it 4 times to place it at 4 different areas. So let's go to any one of the leaves and then set a keyframe to the position and to the X, Y and Z rotation. As you can see the X rotation moves it around the X axis. Same for the Y rotation and same for the Z rotation as well. Set a keyframe to the position and to the X, Y and Z rotation and then go to the last frame just around here. And change the Y position in such a way that it is out of the frame, just like this. And make sure to add some rotation also in the last frame. Just let me just make the screen a little bit smaller. Just like this, I'm going to add a rotation to the X, Y and Z, just like this. And if you play it back, you're going to see the leaf moving around the axis in a 3D plane. As the rotation seems a little bit, you know, slow so I'm going to just increase the rotation a little bit more just like this now what you're going to do is you're going to select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and click on easy ease so this will just ease them out and if you want you can add some motion blurs as well it is totally up to you now you need to do the same process with the four other leaves as well and the X, Y and Z rotation and the orientation and the position is totally up to you and it is totally up to your creativity. Now you guys can even use different leaves for better looks but it is totally up to you. I have used only one kind of leaf because it is totally for this tutorial but if I had made this effect on my own I would have used different kind of leaves all at once. So there are two leaves already ready. Now for the final effect, I'm going to show that particular leaf transition which Ben Tika showed. So I'm going to use any one of the leaves here. And then I'm going to increase the size of the leaf just like this. I'm going to increase it to the size that it covers the entire frame just like this. And I'm going to change the position as well in such a way that in the first frame it is totally out of the frame in the top hand side just like this. Alright now set a keyframe to the position go to the last frame just around here and change the position of the Y to such a position that the leaf moves from up to down and the entire leaf is out of the frame just like this. So as you can see the effect is ready. Now what you guys need to do is 
just make sure it is at the top layer and it is not a 3D layer. And you guys can make it a 3D layer also, it is totally up to you. But it is my personal preference. So make sure it is in the top layer. And easy is the keyframes also, it is totally up to you. Now go to that position where the leaf covers the entire frame. I'm going to just move the keyframes just a little bit to make a more dramatic effect. So here it is. Now go to that position where the leaf covers the entire frame. Just around here. Right around here. Now trim the first clip to that position. And then what you're going to do is you're going to import another clip to make the transition happen. And drag it below. Right around here. And as you can see your transition is ready to be used. And it is pretty simple. And you can trim all the other layers to that position only because otherwise the leaves will show in the next clip as well. So after making some minor adjustments to the layers and stuff and easy easing all the keyframes, this will be the result. Now in order to make a more dramatic effect, I'm going to add some more leaves to this particular footage. So I'm going to select one of the leaves which I animated before and then right click. Choose move all attributes into a new composition and click OK. And do the same for the second leaf as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these two compositions two to four times. And then now I have a lot of leaves with the same kind of animation and I'm going to place them at different places. And that is pretty much it. After placing some more leaves to this particular frame, my effect is totally used. After adding some more leaves to this particular frame, my effect is totally ready to be used. Now if you want you can add motion blows, you can color grade the footages, you can add cinematic bars, you can add sound effects, you can add a proper music to this footage and that is pretty much it. So this is pretty much it and this is Pistol Sammy signing out, hope you guys like the tutorial and peace out.